Hi, this is Vimal Reddy. In this session, I am going to show you how you can use a PGP encryption and also how you can create a certificate. Let's click on the certificate first. Let's click on new to create a certificate. Let's give some name as a boomy underscore sample. And then select the PGP certificate and select the folder where you want to store it. Click on create. So just click on generate. Just give some identity name as uh, this is to just either identify a certificate and password password is kind of a password where you want it to uh, this should be required here in case if you forgot uh, uh, public key and if you want to export the public key from a private certificate you basically need this passwords whenever you want to import any kind of a private certificate it will be asking you to enter the passwords so the passwords you will have to remember always so now we are going to generate a certificate yes the certificate is generated and you can see that I could be private let's click on save so now let's click on a process to create Let's try to read the file from local system. Let's configure this connector. So this is the file I wanted to read it. So for parameters, override the values. Let's have the file filter and give the value here. And then go for the directory information. So first let's try to read a file whether we are able to read a file or not. Yes, we are able to read a file and this is the file content. Let's stop the process and proceed to add a logic for encryption. Let's drag and drop a data process and then click on drag and drop the stop. And then label it as PGP encryption. Let's click on plus under processing steps and then select the PGP encryption from the drop down and then just select the certificates here that we just created it here. And click on OK. Now click on save and click on test to test the process so what the PGP encryption will do PGP encryption will, uh, will take the plain file plain data and it will, uh, after the encryption it will be converted to an encryption format let's see we are able to pass the input as a plain text here you can just see the data would be in plain text data would be in plain text now after the encryption is applied you can just see what how it looks like it's kind of a looks like kind of the 64 format so this is a pgp encryption for in so in the, so we have seen how to create a certificate and how to create a process to do the pgp encryption thanks for watching the video